two people that you must meet before you graduate. Who are two people that you must meet before you graduate? Remember now, think about the jersey and the uniform that you get an opportunity to use before you sit down in front of somebody. You can use that jersey for your benefit to sit down with somebody to help you with MIS and with the communication and journalism. Like realistic people? Oh, they're real people. Yeah, like, they have a heartbeat. No, no, you know what I mean? Like, it'd be like an actual possibility to meet. No, them. Yeah, that, that you can meet. Like, don't sit there and say that you want to meet, like, the stars. Because those aren't real. Like a real person. Set him up with that? Can yeah, you find that? Yeah. So, so. We can do that tomorrow. All right. We got that. That's easy. Easy. Look at that network. Yeah. Okay. Two people. Uh, well, the one I can think of is um, as an MIS graduate, not from here, but they work at every NFL stadium uh, to like to like build the um, like fan experience. Yeah. And uh, that's something I would want to do. So just uh, somebody for the MIS. Graduate who is the top guy at the Arizona Cardinals Stadium. Nice, nice. All right, give him a round of applause. Nice, nice, nice. nice. Uh, all right, guys, I know we got a couple more minutes, but I just wanted to say, like, I know sometimes, like, when, when somebody's standing in front of us and talking about something other than sports, we kind of go into this, like, shell and you think you don't believe in me, you don't believe in me, you don't think I'm doing like, no, it ain't like that. Here's the thing. In addition to being great athletes, you can do something else. Jay-Z sat there and sang and now has an agency, has a clothing. Like, people do more stuff. And like Warren Buffett said, the average millionaire has seven streams of income. Multiple things. Don't get so locked up into this short, finite time. That's it. Get a little bit of time. I wasn't trying to be rough on you guys. I just wanted to tell you how it is because that injury that you saw and I didn't know who I was, there were two times when I sat there and contemplated not wanting to live anymore. And that's a bad feeling. When you sit there and you're driving your car as fast as you can and you go, hmm, I wonder what it would look like or what I would feel like if I no longer existed. That's a hard feeling. And so you have to find out who you are before that transition and another passion that's going to wake you up in the morning. And you'd be up there like, woo, let's do it. Because you can do that. I'm still doing that, and I don't even play no more. So, like, you know what I'm saying? I was doing that this morning at, like, 5 o'clock in the morning over there at the hotel. 